Welcome back to another game day vlog, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lambros, and I'm going to be narrating the story and day of Lambros today. What are the chances? <laughs> so preparation all started yesterday, and dinner was unbelievable. Steph cooked me up a huge feed. Now let's cut to that. She has Steph back once again, and Locke is giving me a fresh cut today. You can see there. Beautiful, mate. It's looking good. Best hairdresser in Melbourne. So if you want a haircut, just uh, <laughs> drop a comment, and he might give you one if you're lucky. Um, we've got the same as usual. Rice is our carbohydrates, um, grass-fed beef and some steak as well, avocado for healthy fats as well as uh, sour cream. So, lock should be filled up, ready to go for a big game tomorrow against St. Paul's. Opportunity to play top three. Let's get it dingly. I woke up this morning and I was a little bit muggy. However, I got some nice breakfast in and I'm going to show you that now. Good morning, boys. I am currently cooking myself some eggs. It is 6 a.m. on game day. So... Usually I eat at around 6, 6.30 and the reason for <clears throat> the reason for that is I give myself eight hours because I always play at two to digest my food. Now, hopefully we don't get any of these bloody shells in here, but uh, I reckon we won't. We are an experienced egg cracker. I usually have five a day. And just quickly, guys, I will show you something in one second that is so important to cook with on game day. Now, because I'm lactose intolerant on game day, if I do have any traces of lactose, I will probably shit myself in the field. Yes, it's happened before. <laughs> if you're lactose intolerant, you've probably been through it. So what do I cook in? Coconut oil. So coconut oil is really, really good, really natural as well. Every other day of the week, I cook in raw butter. So I'm just gonna show you what raw butter looks like. This, obviously it's hard to tell because this is in like a weird kit, but it's in like the foil. So it's like the block in the foil. So if you're not getting butter that's in that foil, Mate, you're not doing yourself a very good thing. Now, my parents have this stuff. I've been trying to tell them for years to get off it. Nutlex. Don't have shit like this. This is a process and this is not going to help you at all. So on game day, if you're not lactose free, cook in butter. But if you are, cook in this little coconut oil. The oil for massage therapy. This is the final result, boys. We've got fats there. We've got carbs, protein, all what we need to fuel up for game day. There is one very more important ingredient on game day and that is our salt. So this is going to be pretty grim. Guys, I do have a lot of salt before game day. So that was quite a bit of salt. I'm probably going to die of like some bloody type, I don't know, type two diabetes, maybe. I can't even speak, it's too early. Type two diabetes. <laughs> there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. There we have it. Here we go, boys. I've had a couple of people say that you don't actually eat that much for game day. Number one, I do. <laughs> Number two, it's not even that much. So I just topped off this with a little bit of tomato sauce. So if you're not putting tomato sauce on your eggs, mate, you're missing out. A little bit's not going to kill you and it just makes it so much more flavorful. Um, some people are going to vomit that, at that and probably unsubscribe because I do that. But I'm sure 99% of people out there do that. Uh, and this avocado is actually rank as. <laughs> Can we get like a close up on that avocado? Mate, that is something else. All right, guys. Well, I'm just gonna have to prove that easy. So start the fast forward, fast forward rewind. Just fast forward it. <laughs> Two plates deleted, deleted quickly as well. They never stood a chance against me on game day. And as always, guys, I left a tiny little bit. You know what I'm like on game day. I never eat 100% everything. It's just stupid, but it's the way it is. Now, let's cut back to the narrator. The next thing I did was I went on an amazing walk just to clear my brain. It was so nice. Welcome back to another game day vlog, everyone. Now, it is currently 8.24 in the morning and we're just getting some sunlight. Obviously, there's not that much sunlight, but it's still really good to get outside. So nice out here. A little bit chilly. Now today we're versing St. Paul's. They are a pretty good side and we're playing at their ground and we literally never beat them at their ground for some reason. I don't know, they're really good on their home ground. So it's gonna be a hell of interesting game. Steph, mate, you've got the 19s today against Mo and Bina. You have to win this game to make top three. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough game. I think arguably we've got our best side in all year. A few boys coming back from injuries and school footy. So gonna be interesting out there super keen for it and super keen to watch you put on a clinic yeah. this is the dingley special 
Oh, you're gonna have to turn the camera around, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice doggy park. Snowy absolutely loves it. There he does. Snowy. Good boy. Now, if you're not already getting in a morning walk before a game, you're missing out so much. Like, it is literally the most healthy thing. Just nice and relaxed getting out here. Like, you're just one with nature. I mean, in summer, I preferably would be barefoot. You know, just getting like, I don't know, what do they call it? Like the protons from the earth, some weird voodoo stuff. But, you know, just walking around even with shoes on, it's just great. You know, Snowy's hanging out back there and you just feel great. Like you kind of just hanging out, just relaxing yourself, staying nice and composed before the game. And guys, look at these bags under my eyes. Oh my God, I am sleepy, but that is all right. I'll have a coffee to razzle dazzle me up and we'll be back to go. Time for the coffee, pod is in and we are off. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, you hate that. Oh, you bloody bastard. Beeju straight into the honey. You guys, if you haven't already tried it, honey in your coffee is actually the best thing ever. Genuinely is, but just make sure you mix it around before you put your cold water or milk in there, whatever you put in there. Feeling like Winnie the Pooh with this coffee? How good is this mug? Absolutely love it. Alrighty boys, Steph and I have actually bought an $800 water filter during the week. It's a little bit silly. I know it may sound silly, but it is a reverse osmosis charcoal filter. So it's literally going to purify the water in the best of its possible ability. So it's going to strip away all the estrogenics. It's going to really help to maximize our hormones such as testosterone. So obviously if you guys are just playing footy, you don't necessarily have to do this, but I'm going to show you the filter. Have a look at this. How good is that? I've got two cups here, a thin and a thick one. So I'm going to put the thin one and see if Steph can taste the difference between this water and normal water. And if he can't, well, it's just a waste of money. This one here is the water from the filter and this one here is just standard tap water. And let's see if Steph can guess them. Alrighty, Steph. So one of these water little cups here is the purified water and one isn't. So I'm going to give you the taste test first. Start off with whichever one you want. Give us some, give the fans some, um, some description. That one tastes metally. Metally? That's a holy water. Yeah, mate, it actually is. Not it's even, a holy water. <laughs> not even kidding, you actually guessed it right. It was a thin one. <laughs> worth it? Worth the 800 bucks? Definitely box? worth the 800 bucks. All right, guys, if you know me, you know that Lambros plays off the halfback flank. Well, he always has in the past. So I'm going to show you guys today how to play halfback flank. Let me know if you agree with me or let me know if you think I'm an absolute idiot, which I probably am, but maybe you might take one or two things out of this. All right, boys, this is how you play halfback. Now we're going down the ground. Now, if you want to be a really good offensive halfback line player, this area here, I call this the shark. This is where we want to spend a lot of our time. So for example, if our teammates have the ball here, we just want to sag in this little spot, keeping in mind that our defend, our opposition player isn't just drifting back. We want to sit in one of these holes because the chances are, if your team is a good side, you're going to tr transition the ball through this area of the ground. And if you're waiting in this little shark spot, one of two things can happen. One, you get the kick inside, or two, the ball gets kicked into this area and you loop around to get a handball receives, drive it long, or even better, take a bounce and then kick an absolute snaggerunski. That's how you play the shark roll off the halfback flank. Now, usually I do this segment a little bit later in the day, but Snow is actually going to an investment property today, painting. So here he is in the flesh, Snowy. What color are we gonna be painting the house today? Okay. Um, I take it that white is your favorite color. Is that is that right? Because you are kind of snowy, I guess. Yeah. And um, what are you looking forward to most about today's game day vlog? All right, I'll take that snow. Well, you enjoy the painting today, mate. And we all love you lots. All right, boys. So what am I doing in my spare time in the morning on game day? Well, you guys know I like to take things pretty light, but... I am working on a massive Lambros program at the moment. It is a top secret thing, and I'm just gonna give you a quick, quick look at it. 
Boys, this is going to be absolutely insane. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to put the camera on me for a second here because I want to zoom down to the bottom. Boys, I have challenges, right? And if you can beat me, if you can beat me in these challenges, lads, I will literally do a running program with you. So, for example, the first challenge here is 657.2K. But in order for you to do a running session with me, you've got to beat me in all of these challenges right now. I'm not going to go too much into it, but guys, this is so exciting coming out shortly. Boys, 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 boys. Now, I just, uh, two days ago, went down to the local news agency and I was just having a fix with a paper. And bang, on a massive single page spread, guess what I see? The Lambos. I'm going to show you guys this article right now. Literally, guys, thank you so much for everything you guys do for us, the support. We have had the nicest article written up for us by John T, an absolute king from Danny Nong. Guys, how good is this? Thank you so much. And Steph, mate, you got a terrible head in that. Well, I look pretty poor myself, but mate, what are you doing there? Do I smell chicken and rice? Do I smell and hear chicken and rice about to be brewed up in the microwave before game day? How good is this, boys? Oh my God. Here we have it. Welcome to the microwave, lads. Oh, ho, 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 some chicken and rice. Here we have it, ladies and gents. 125 grams of chicken and 100 grams of rice. Bit of pure sauce there, tomato-based sauce. So really, really good carbs before the game and a little bit of protein there as well. If you're not having chicken and rice, you're missing out, ladies and gents. And whack on the devil in disguise. The cramp cure. This stuff is literally the holy, holy salt to avoid cramps. Get on that as well. Um, why do I have my shirt off in this segment? I don't know. Why is the Prover Christian? Nobody actually knows. He just eats. But here's the chicken and rice taste test. You have it. All right. Let's get a big juicy bit of chicken here. A bit of rice. Get that in there. Mmm, so with the amount of salt I put on there, it almost tastes like you're having a little bit of cooked chicken that is being cooked in a pot of salt. So it's like putting some salt water on chicken and a tiny bit of rice on it. That is exactly what I'm tasting right now. And you know what? I don't give a shit if it's not the best thing in the world. It's not if it's not the best tasting thing in the world because it is the best thing in the world when it comes to performance. And when I'm putting on a clinic later today, I'll be thanking this chicken and rice. Boys, please drop a comment if you're anything like me and you're a bit strange leaving a little bit of every meal left because you get anxiety if you eat it all. Well, if I eat this all, I'm not going to play a good game. So I've waited out. Uh, theoretically, I should eat the whole thing uh, according to my nutrition plan, but I'm not going to eat it because... If I don't eat it, I'm sacrificing some good stuff for some better stuff later on. Delayed gratification, ladies and gentlemen. We learn something every day. Why are so many footy players cramping? It is literally the easiest thing to avoid. Get electrolytes in. So this here, a pure sports nutrition electrolyte servings. Um, if I figure it out, here we are. This is how you open it. Uh, basically, we want to go two scoops of this stuff, right? So this stuff's got really good electrolytes throughout it. So if we balance our sodium and potassium, as well as stay really hydrated during a game, you usually will be really good. Now, if you are a younger person, so if you're playing junior footy, guys, just put lots of salt on your food. That should do the job. But if you're older, get one of these, two scoops in the morning and bottoms up, baby, let's go. Probably should stir it in as well. Having an absolute dilemma with some socks this morning. Um, let's show you guys that story. Oh, I cannot believe it. Every second week, I lose a pair of footy socks or I forget to bring them to the ground. What, what's today? I've lost a pair. So I've, I'm literally going to have to go with one or two pairs, boys. I know this is, this is really bad. I'm going to have to wear socks that say blah, blah, blah on the back of them. So comment if I should wear the blah, blah, blah ones or, or I should wear the Top Gun socks. So I'm going to have to wear one pair today. I don't know which pair I'm going to wear. It's an absolute dilemma. Oh, mate, I just, I can't get, I can't get my stuff together right now. I can't believe this has happened to me again. Where could they possibly go? Like they come off my feet. I put them in the bag. 
it's just like the imaginary fairy ghost just comes and takes my socks every second week. So, this is going to be interesting, guys. Uh, let me know if I should wear the blah ones or the Top Gun ones. This is tragic news. Okay, I am slowly calming down from losing my socks. Now, guys, you already know I've got the fresh cut done for game day. And the fruity socks of the game today are koala socks. Unreal. And today, boys, I'm actually taking it to the next level. I'm not just wearing fruity socks to the ground. I'm actually going to have to wear them in the game as well. So heavily advised, don't wear fruity socks in the game. Just wear them to the ground. But sometimes Lambros does some silly things. And this is very high up in the list. Okay, boys. So I'm always carrying on about manifesting your goals. So it would be rude of me to not have my goals and show you guys those goals today. Now, the first thing we're going to do is seven big runs. It might be a little bit wet. It's raining currently. So... Whether I have to bounce it or not, I'm going to run with the footy seven times. I'm going to have 15 times where I drive the ball more than 45 meters. So I'm pushing the ball in deep and I'm running my legs off. So I want to work harder than anyone else on the field. So that's pretty much my three goals today set in stone. So make sure you're setting yourself a couple of goals to give you some direction that you can hyper focus in during the game. It's really, really important to do. Now, let's see what we're playing with today with the weather. Yeah, not a sun in sight, but that is all right. Uh, have a look at that. Not bad. A little bit of a couple of droplets hitting me, but I don't mind it, boys. It's all right. A little bit of wetness is not bad. Okay, boys, one of the most essential parts of each week, having a banana two hours before the game, as you know, and the bee juice. The most important thing, guys, this is literal energy in a little container. Get about four to five servings of that, smash it before the game, and smash it at halftime. Really quick carbs, straight to the dome. Final thing we have here is our diary. Now, you're probably thinking, Lambros, why are you puffing? Why are you talking so fast? Because I'm running so late to the game, because I was trying to find my socks for like two hours, and uh, they're gone. So, let's forget about the socks. Get them out of my brain. Goals for today, in here. I told you guys those goals before and I write down goals every week. Make sure you're doing the same and let me know if you write down your goals before the game and what kind of goals you have, if they're similar to mine or different. I'd be really interested to know. This is the playground for the day. Head on down. Get over here off, Jake. Get him off. O'Neal! Go Dingoes! Yes, Dinson! Dinson Un! Get up, baby! Go! The flash! Can you show us the flash? It's going to be deja vu the first time we played it, alright? Yeah. Yeah. Bring in boys, bring in, bring in. Come on, boys, come on. Let's see how we get it set up, alright? <laughs> This is the turf for the day. We got the fruity socks on, and look at this turf, boys. It is unreal. Two's about to head out of the second quarter. Let's get it, Frida. Ladies and gents, we are with the coach horse, mate. How are you feeling for today's game? It's going to be a, a good challenge against St Paul's. Obviously, fighting for finals, and we're fighting for the the top three. So it's going to be a good game. Obviously, you don't give all your secrets out, mate. But can you give the fans just one little secret about how we're going to come into this game? Control. Control. All right. I'll, I'll take that. Nice and mysterious. Yeah. Nice and mysterious. And uh, what's one thing that I need to do today or else you yeah, put me back to the twos next week? Uh, all about me, this game for you, mate. Use your legs, power out, get in your right foot and you want to drive. Drive, drive, drive. Keen to go, mate. And if we win this game, you're getting in the middle of the huddle. No one. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, I can't believe I've done it. Top guy, let's hope they do the job for us. Welcome back to another game day vlog, everyone. I'm number six with the footy now, Lambros, and I just got this first kick pretty much of the game to get that little hit up. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for today's game, we were dialed. It was an absolute massive game for us against St. Paul's because if we win this game, we are a lock in for top three. But boys, as you will see later in this video, mate, it was a big, big day at the office for the boys. Now, as I said previously in this video, my goals were essentially to run with the footy today. It was a little bit dewy, but uh, this is me on the wing here. You can see I'm being quite aggressive with the ball, and I'm trying to drive it long with my feet as opposed to hooking back onto my left foot. 
and dinking the footy around. Now, with local footy, I think that if you can get meters gained, like it is literally gonna be so beneficial for your team because a lot of players just chip it around. And because the blokes aren't as fast as what they would be, let's say in VFL or AFL, getting the meters gained is just even more beneficial. Now that one there, I got that little handball out and it didn't quite pay off. There was like two of the boys in there and I think Freezer kind of stopped a little bit, but we're doing all right. Like, in the contest, but the outside ball, like they're just winning the footy and every time they get the ball, they're just scoring. So I'm running through here, number six, got the handball received. I was thinking I was going to go goals here, but I kind of stopped because that guy was waiting for me in front of me. Went long to the goal square and they took a juke. So that one there, look, my role in the team is is to get it forward and to get that, get the footy into like that hot spot. So 20 meters out. So if they do mark the ball at the opposition, don't be discouraged to kick it there in the future because that is exactly where your big forwards are going to want the footy. So I'm working here on the wing, trying to hold my shape around the contest here. So you'll see me just on the back of the contest here. I got up and I probably could have handballed that. I rushed it a little bit and just banged it on the left foot. I'm holding my shape out here really well. And I had a couple of people run with me on the wing. As always, I always, you know, get a little bit of attention out there, which is you know, not the best thing in the world when you're playing on the wing and you're trying to get space, but I'm just trying to work, you know, work against those tags. I'm trying to learn different methods to cope with that kind of stuff. So here's just a comment from Daniel. So he just said, you guys are going places, positive vibes and jet at footy. Love your work. Thank you so much, bro. Like really appreciate that. Like that's me there just getting that kick. But yeah, guys, I literally read and reply to all of your comments. So leave a comment in the video, that, like in this video, whether it be good, bad, whatever it is, and I'll pop it in the next video we post. So we're down by 34 points, boys, at quarter time. This is looking absolutely dire for the dingoes right now. I'm just here. I kind of boot bang that one out, and they just set up around the ball so well there. I could have probably gone a little bit wider, but didn't, and they went forward which wasn't ideal at all. Now, going into these games, boys, like, I've had a couple questions of, like, you know, how do you feel when the camera's around? Like, do you play as well? Look, I really don't think it affects me, like, that much when I film on game day. If anything, I love having the camera out and, you know, getting around the boys. But, like, it does come to a point where you do get a little bit sick of, like, the constant attention that you get on the footy field, like, by the players around the contest. Like I'm always gonna be like the first player held and like there's gonna be someone on me. But that's just what it that's just what it happens, boys, like when you do post um game day vlogs. Troy here just said Lambro's best wingman inspiring. Thanks, Troy. Absolute king, mate. Love you for that. And um yeah man, I'm just gonna keep working on my wing craft, so don't you worry. But yeah guys, I love filming these game day vlogs. Like nothing makes me more happy. I've got the ball on the outside here, got the handball, and look at me keep going, guys. Keep working for that extra possession. And I banged it on, and it was a two-on-one, and we didn't quite win that footy. But I was quite happy with that play. Like, I was getting some run and some yardage. So if you can do that, oh, boys, you are absolutely going places. Now, at this point of the game, boys, we're down. Like, we're down bad. And I'm just thinking, like, oh, I really got to clutch up here for the lads and get us back in the game. And... Just have my composure. So I got a little handball there. And boys, we're, we're down 12 to 71. Like, we haven't had a belting like this all year. Like, this team is six on the ladder and we're going to make top three. I'm running, trying to create some run off the halfback flank here. Got the ball out. Um, and my boots got tangled in the oppositions there. I don't know what actually happened. Like, our shoelaces literally tied together and we were stuck for like 30 seconds on the ground. It got like a real weird down there, but <laughs> that's all right. Don't mind that. Took a nice little mark here. Like just if you are playing back, make sure you put yourself in the hole and then just get that little kick out just to take the pressure off. And I'm just sagging around the middle here, waiting for that next one. Got the, got the little kick there as well. And um, I'm thinking like, you know, we just got to have some sense of control because it's just been an absolute chaos day for us. And you have days where in senior footy, nothing goes your way. And when, when that like keeps happening, it's just like when it rains and storms, boys, like when a team like starts flooding the goals on you, it is really hard to break that toxic cycle. So we're just working here still like as a team, we're still pretty positive vibes and um, I'm working off the back here. So I got the handball, wasn't too good. And watch me get smacked here, bang, like around the neck. Wasn't even downfield that one, but that's a shit, boys. That's a shit I'm copping every single week. 
So, boys, I gotta, I gotta make my body, but more importantly, my mind so calloused and just tough and ready to go for these situations because, you know, you've got to be tough to play footy at the end of the day. And I was proud of myself for laying a couple of tackles, so that was a good tackle there. So these boys here just saying happy birthday, Snowy, and how did I just find this channel? It's so underrated. Thank you, boys. I really appreciate it. And it's good that the YouTube algorithm is finally pushing us out to some more people. Uh, we know you guys absolutely love footy content, especially some educational content as well. So not only can you be educated, but you can also be entertained and, and inspired, which is really, really important. So it's really, really cool that you guys are seeing the channel. And just let us know, like, if this channel's new to you, if you've found this channel really early on, like, just let us know. I'd be so interested to see when you guys actually did find us. Now it's 26 to 103 boys. We are getting absolutely pants. And in this last quarter, I'm like, man, just like, hold on. Like just show like a little bit of like culture. I got the run through there and man, I literally stubbed the floor with my foot, bro. This is dire by the boys. Like, like kicked up the crown. I barely ever do that. Um, yeah, man, I've been thrown everywhere today. I started on the wing, then I went half back in the third quarter for the second half of it. And then um, I've gone to the middle for a bit as well. Like I've kind of been all around the place and I'm just like trying to lay some pressure. I don't know what was going on. Our midfield was getting turned about, but we're just working here. Like the lads are still trying to stay pretty positive. We know that if we win next week, we'll still make top three. Um, so this game for us was kind of like, we, we didn't want to win. Like we really did want to win. But if we didn't win, if we dropped it, it's not like the biggest deal in the world as long as we get up next week. So that was good by me as well. Just getting that, little possession over there and um as you'll see boys like holding my shape in the middle of the ground like the ball in senior footy or any footy is usually going to go through the middle of the ground so as i showed you guys with like the, the halfback masterclass before the video if you haven't watched that make sure you watch that segment because it's literally the most educational segment and it could help you as like a halfback when get an extra like 10 15 touches of the game and literally be best on ground so make sure you give that one a watch i just got a kick over there to freezer pretty happy with that one and, um, like, my day overall today, boys, has been, like, not my best day ever, but I've still been, like, relatively decent. I finished off with 25 disposals, 9 marks, 3 goal assists, 4 tackles, and we've been done by 99 points. Obviously not ideal for the team, but enjoy the rest of the vlog, guys. Well, well, well. Boys, what can we say to that? We got absolutely annihilated from the first bounce. Uh, with my own game today, I was thrown in a couple of different positions. But I obviously didn't have my best performance. It was pretty average, to say the least. I'm um, just going to hit the track super, super hard uh, during the week and head up. We should still make top three, which so that means this result doesn't really matter. Anyways, uh, the Blues won. How good. And we are about to head to the footy. So this is going to be an absolute epic, epic night. Steph, just quickly, and Les as well. Tell us about the 19s, boys. Yeah, big win today. What yeah. was it? Uh, it was 10 goals to secure a double chance, so pretty good start to the morning. Yeah, good start, but it was tough watching that game today. Yeah, it was tough, but um, love you guys, and get yourself in the shape of your life by getting to the gym and doing some running. Go Lambros. Everyone be quiet. It's a Lambros game day vlog. <laughs> no, cut that, cut that. <laughs> 